Hey, Conspiracy Kyle here. I hope everybody's having a great day. Just want to post a little video. Um, I'm going to be doing a podcast about this soon, but um, I've been reading and watching a lot of stuff about this new Andor series that's coming out. Um, the Star Wars streaming series, which takes place a few years before the Rogue One ser um, movie that came out a few years ago, which, if you recall, was kind of a pretty much a direct prequel to the original Star Wars movie where the Rebels are stealing the plans to the Death Star and getting them back to the Rebel base so that they can do the assault run on the Death Star, yada, yada, yada. So this, this takes place a few years before that, focusing on Cassie and Andor, um, one of the main characters in that film who ultimately dies in the end, you know, spoiler alert from a movie that came out five years ago, or six years ago. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today was some comments that um, one of the main actresses in the movie, uh, in, in the show, has come out and said recently. So actress Fiona Shaw, who appears to be playing Cassie and Andor's mother or relative to a certain extent. Um, Fiona Shaw, by the way, if anybody's familiar with the Harry Potter series, she was um, Harry Potter's aunt, um, Dursley. I forget her first name, whatever. We're not here to talk about Harry Potter. But anyways... Um, a lot of a lot has been made about comments she's made about the series and kind of what this series represents. And I'm going to kind of paraphrase a little bit about what she was saying. But she said that it's a take on the Trumpian world where people's rights are being taken away. And it's pretty much a direct parallel to people's rights being taken away in our own world. So I kind of want to hit both sides of this discussion here. Uh, for one... Um, celebrities and everybody are still so so focused on Trump they can't even see what's going on under the current administration um, I would argue that people's rights are being taken away true but I believe it's people's rights being taken away that are opposing the current regime but apparently that's that's not a problem um, the other the other thing too is that on the other side People are getting a lot of uh, people on the right are getting very up in arms about this. Um, people that really that really vehemently support Trump, and I don't really consider myself one of those people anymore. I mean, he's got pros and cons, like many people. I I also don't think that he really fully has the best interests of everybody in mind. You know, it's it's really all about all about him and his ego. If you if you really boil it down at the end of the day, and you know, for you know, the good things he's done, you know, pride is also one of the seven deadly sins I think we all need to keep in mind, and he's definitely a very prideful person. Um, so the other side of the coin is that everybody, so I said everybody on the, on the right, and a lot of people are getting up in arms about this, oh my god, it's going to be uh, this political take on Trump and all this kind of stuff, and, you know, my thought about it is, you know, are you new to Star Wars? I mean, Star Wars has pretty much taken shots at Republican leaders ever since it came out. I mean, there have been lots of comments about Lucas and other people about how the original Empire was a takeoff of the, you know, Nixon administration um, after the Watergate scandal and all that kind of stuff. And then you, you flash forward to Return of the Jedi. Um, George Lucas got to tell kind of a story he had wanted to tell for many years about Vietnam. Um, and with the with the Ewoks, um, and the Ewoks, if you if you go to that story, the Ewoks are basically defending their home against foreign invaders with all this military might, and are able to, to fight them off. In the you know the the enemy in that is the Empire, and the enemy in our world was America, was 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 us, um, taking on this wholly unjust war. So that was another another takeoff on on the U.S. government, um, and then go go to the prequels. You know, there's really been um, a lot been made about what he said about you know Bush and Cheney, really being um, Vader and Palpatine, respectively. Bush being Vader and Palpatine being Cheney, um, and in that came those those episodes came out in 1999, 2002, 2005, right in the midst of that Bush presidency. So, for people that are all up in arms, oh my god, I can't believe they're doing this. It's really nothing new. And also, you shouldn't be so precious about your politicians. If you're holding them to such high regard that you can't 
you can't have any criticism against them at all, I think that's a, uh, I think that's a fault. I think you need to kind of check your sensibilities. You need to check um, your self-awareness about what he is and, and what he represents and what the politicians you love represent and what they really stand for. And But I will admit, you know, that, that the statement kind of is a bit ridiculous as he's been out of power for several years. And this thought that, you know, this Trump regime is really ruining everybody's lives is, is funny because, you know, Trump really never controlled the media. You know, the, the left-leaning far left is really controlled 90% 90, 90 of the media, um, other than, you know, Fox News and a few other, you know, right, right-wing-leaning outlets. So controlling the media is one of the big um, tenets of, you know, totalitarian governments. Look back at Nazi Germany. It's like, you know, you control the news, then you can control the people. Even in the prequels, the Empire controlled the flow of information to the people about the wars that were going on and how the Republic was losing the war to kind of keep people's interest in supporting the Republic throughout this war. 1984, same thing, you know, telling the people about all these foreign enemies and foreign invaders and how we need to, you know, trust the, trust the system in place. So that's all kind of hilarious to me. So anyways, I kind of want to just point out some of that stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to this series. I think there's going to be a lot of really great political intrigue in it. I'm really curious about where where the where the empire lies as far as the manipulation amongst the people at this point in the story. You know, this is this is a few years prior to them, you know, blowing up Alderaan and, and in Rogue One blowing up a few other places. So we'll see. Are they still trying to be somewhat diplomatic or? Is there, is there something else going on where we're starting to see how their, their diplomatic approach isn't working and they're kind of um, going more towards a, a violent dictatorship? But more uh, that remains to be seen as the series comes out in a few weeks here. So um, as usual, I'll be doing episodes about those as they come out. So um, happy, what is today? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody has a great day. May the force be with you. And God bless.